Welcome to Community Presbyterian Church in our Gospel Box Story Time for January 16th, 2022. Our book this week is called How Great is Our God? It's by Louis Giglio, illustrated by Nicola Anderson. This book has several stories in it, and I'll just read one today. Our story today, A Whole New You. If anyone belongs to Christ, then he is made new. The old things have gone, everything is made new. From 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Take a look at your hand. It's not just holding this book, it's actually very busy making new skin cells. The top layer of your skin, the part you see, is called the epidermis. Epidermis. And it's made up of skin cells. Lots and lots of them. Scientists think you have about 1.6 trillion skin cells throughout your body, depending on how big you are. Now, new skin cells are constantly being made at the bottom of your epidermis. They move up to the top of your epidermis in a trip that takes about a month. When they reach the top, they quickly die and fall away. In fact, you lose about 30 to 40,000 dead skin cells every minute. So in time, it's taking you to read this paragraph, you've probably lost about 35,000 skin cells already. But don't worry, your body replaces the dead cells with new skin cells just as fast. Maybe that's why we're so tired all the time. Every year you lose about eight pounds of dead skin cells. Where do they go? Well, you know all that dust on your bookshelves and tables and pictures? That's mostly made up of dead skin cells. You might say that you leave a little bit of yourself everywhere that you go. Your skin isn't the only part of you that God is making new. When you decide to follow him, God takes your heart your mind and your spirit and begins making them new too. It, like your skin, it doesn't happen all at once or even in a month. It's a change that happens your whole life through. But each day, God helps you get rid of your old, dead, selfish ways. God teaches you to be more like Jesus instead, sharing God's love and joy with everyone around you. Let us pray. God, please help me shed my old selfish ways. Help me to be more like Jesus instead. Help me share your love with all those I meet, even those I don't really know that well. And now let's join together in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again soon.